No, we got a damn mayor that turned into a, the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler. He got his final solution figured out for the homeless problem. When they sweep them all out before Super Bowl 50, they'll probably take them down on them Japanese internment camps. And they won't let them come back. They already got places like that back east. They pick the homeless up, they say, you gonna go to jail. Or you're gonna leave town or we can take you outside of town to a camp and you'll stay in that camp and you'll not be able to leave if you get permission. You know, they've been living outside of town in a homeless camp. They've got barbed wire and razor wire and guard and all that shit. And since old Led Lee and his consulting firm has seen that they got away with it back there, he said, shit, we won't do it here. We got all these damn Japanese and Carmen camps. Got one down there at San Bernardino, uh, San Bernardino. Federal government said we couldn't keep the prisoners in it no more. Hell, we can put it full of homeless people. They don't count as good as prisoners. Prisoners got more rights than homeless people. Homeless people ain't got no civil rights at all because they don't have address. They don't have a place of a domicile. They don't have all it takes to be a human in America. And don't think they don't know. They can do anything to homeless people. And they're going to. This is the same thing that Hitler started around 1936 to get all geared up for the big Holocaust. First it was uh, France. Drunks, vinyls, cripples, old folks, retards. Yeah, old police woman over there shot a retarded guy living in a group home over this morning. Something killed him. Bitch. Mental patient. And he wasn't homeless. He was living in a group home. I can lie all the one people. But the first report is always the truth. And that wasn't going to let the police come in there and investigate. A whole neighborhood was reared up. What are you doing killing this little guy? What, what the hell is going on with that? What the bitch going to kill this guy? What the bitch? He ain't the one that hit her. He got, a, he got an IQ about 40. He ain't real smart. He's living in a group home, working in one of them goddamn group home work. You go down, you the there, to the Goodwill, you'll see them marching all the little developmentally retarded people back and forth to where they live. They march them on the bus and they march them around. That's what they use. See, that's what they want. They want a workforce like that. Of course, along come police and they just shoot them and kill them. That's terrible. That's how police are. Mental patients. That's why they had in asylums. They built in asylums not to keep people safe from crazies, to keep the insane people safe from the goddamn mean-ass, redneck, cock-sucking, Yankee motherfucking, mass-murdering, evil, stinking, uh, agoraphobic, and haters. H-A-T-E is four letters. That's what the Baptists and uh, Pentecostals, I mean, uh, the churches, all them churches, Catholics, and the Protestants too, they've got the four. You got Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and you got hatred of the poor. And it's taught in the Bible. Hatred of the poor and the Jews. If you're a poor Jew, we're in double trouble. That puts five on. They're gone. What a terrible world we live in. And everybody goes, they'll wave their American flag. America, the land of freedom, and shit, fire, and save your matches. That's the goddamn stupid, they don't know. You can't learn them because they dead set on stupid. It's been fixed in their brain by the image of the beast. The image of the beast being as it were the television. I want that goddamn shit stepped in your brain. It's hard to unstick it. Best way to unstick it is with a club or electric shocks. I stuck on stupid and I spent 22 years locked up in mental hospital and they stuck stupid off me. I don't know. long I'm out there. They pulled me up in front of the review board down in Pascadero State Hospital. I asked me, I don't know, how are you doing, John? I said, well, I'm decided that Republicans are of the devil. When I get out of hell and join the Democratic Party, I'm going to be a Democrat. They said, well, John, we're just going to let you go. That's how the time I got it. 
uh, voting card for the Republican Party. That was my, uh, out of it, I mean for the de Democrats. Fine, fine spell, or what's her name? Nasty Feinstein? No. Whatever Feinstein's name was, I forget. All of them helped me get it reestablished here in the beautiful city of San Francisco.